Russia again threatened NATO with war. Medvedev spoke about asymmetric strikes on the West. Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev claimed that Ukraine joining NATO would be viewed as a declaration of war against Moscow. He emphasized that only prudence on the alliance's part could prevent catastrophic consequences for the planet, according to his interview published by a local weekly newspaper. Medvedev, who is currently a deputy chairman of Russia's Security Council, told Argumenti i Facti that Ukraine's membership would pose more than a direct threat to Moscow's security. From the very beginning, we have made it clear to NATO that Ukraine's accession is not just a direct threat to Russia's national interest. It is, in fact, a declaration of war, albeit with a delay. During the recent summit, NATO leaders pledged to support Ukraine on a path toward full Euro-Atlantic integration, including potential NATO membership, without specifying a timeline for accession. The actions that Russia's opponents have been taking against us for years, expanding the alliance, take NATO to the point of no return, Medvedev was quoted as saying. Medvedev told that Moscow is trying to prevent a devastating global conflict, but its opponents are reluctant to demonstrate common sense. When asked whether Russia should use a broader range of weapons at its disposal in the Ukrainian conflict, provided that more and more restrictions are being lifted by the United States, he said. In any case, Russia will act in strict accordance with the UN Charter and other key documents, as well as with universally accepted norms of the international law. And as long as we can prevent a global catastrophe, we will try to do so. Regrettably, our current enemies do not share our aspirations and we cannot count on their wisdom, will and aspirations for peace. Which means that everything is possible, he said. He went on to say that Russia has moral and legal grounds to give an adequate symmetric or asymmetric response to any direct threat to its security and sovereignty. Medvedev has made numerous controversial and inflammatory statements on social media platforms and has openly challenged Ukraine's right to exist as an independent nation, declaring that Ukraine is definitely Russia and calling it an integral part of Russia's strategic and historical borders. During his presidency from 2008 to 2012, Medvedev, once seen as a pro-Western modernizer, has transformed into a staunch hawk, cautioning the US and its allies that their support for Kyiv could result in a nuclear apocalypse. In a standard Kremlin line since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Medvedev said Russia, though, does not threaten NATO. Russia has no intention of attacking alliance members' countries and certainly does not aim to turn their populations into fine radioactive dust, Medvedev said. Germany is preparing to redeploy 800,000 troops to NATO's eastern flank against Russia. Germany is developing plans to ensure that hundreds of thousands of troops could move along an arterial highway, transiting much of the nation in the event of a war with Russia, one leading national newspaper has reported. The Spiegel reported, citing a secret document obtained by the newspaper, that Berlin expects some 800,000 German and allied NATO troops to use its ports, highways and railways to head eastwards if the West's simmering showdown with Russia turns hot in the near future. It is noted that in the event of a Russian attack on NATO's eastern flank, up to 800,000 troops and more than 200,000 pieces of equipment will need to be redeployed through Germany within three to six months. Preliminarily, the main road for military convoys from west to east is the A2 highway, which runs from the city of Oberhausen in North Rhine-Westphalia to Berlin. According to Der Spiegel, the security of this route, its bottlenecks and alternatives are being studied. In particular, the military has concerns about traveling across the Hohenwart Bridge on the Elbe north of Magdeburg. In the event of sabotage or missile attacks on the bridge, the A2 highway could be completely blocked. It is reported that the Bundeswehr, state authorities and the federal government are continuing to work on a plan to redeploy troops. The height of the Cold War years, when several hundred thousand soldiers, particularly Americans, were stationed on Europe's eastern borders facing Soviet forces is still a long way off. More than 350,000 American troops were deployed in Europe at that time compared with 100,000 today. 
However, troop reinforcements, the construction of military bases and training grounds, and the positioning of anti-aircraft defense systems have led to continuous activity along the 2,500 kilometers of borders between the Atlantic Alliance and Russia. The military reinforcement of NATO's eastern flank is nothing new. It began in 2014 following Russia's annexation of Crimea. The belief that Russia will eventually seek to extend its expansionism westward of Ukraine is now widely held within NATO. Currently, there's no direct confrontation with the Russians. Almost all their ground forces are deployed in Ukraine, said Joris Van Bladel, a specialist in Russian military matters and a senior associate at the Egmont Institute, the Royal Institute for International Relations in Belgium.